Welcome to Mako Island. I thought we'd take a quick look at a typical day in season. It was kind of cold this morning when I started out. It was 50. You'll notice that I'm in a sweatshirt and it's about 60 degrees right now. Only going up to a high of 70 today. So let's take a quick look around. You can see down here on South Beach, it is kind of sparse. But I wouldn't expect too many people when it's only 60 degrees here on the beach. But if you're looking to do some shelling, it might be a really nice day to do that. And there's a boat sitting out there by the breakwater. I'm not seeing any dolphins out here today. Nobody's out by the pool. And looking out over the south end of Marco, you can see there's a little boat traffic down at the edge of the 10,000 Islands. And I can hear some people playing tennis. And you can see the canals right over in this direction. And I'm not seeing a lot of boat traffic over there either. So it's kind of a quiet day today. On a day like this, if they're not at the beach, they're probably out shopping. So let's head down Collier Boulevard, see what the traffic, uh, both car traffic and foot traffic is looking like. We'll start at Caxambas Park, which is on the far south end of Marco Island. This really hasn't reopened completely since Hurricane Ian. And as we get down a little further, you'll see that it's still fenced in. This is where the police boat typically is. But because of the fence, there's not a lot of people here. You can't access the water. This is also where a lot of the jet ski tours typically take off from. And as we make our way out of this parking lot, that white building over to the right, I will zoom in on it. That is the Coast Guard station that was just being completed during COVID and then came the hurricane. So it never fully opened. I think it's open right now. Now we're back on Collier Boulevard. We're on the south end of the island, heading north. And pretty soon we're going to be coming up to the Turtle Lot. It's one of the public parking areas on Marco Island. You can see it's not really full today. The Turtle Lot costs anywhere from $10 to $15 if you want to reserve in advance. But you can find $8 parking and even free on Marco Island. On the left is beach access. You'll see it coming up right here. And across the street is the Marco Walk Plaza. That's where we went a couple of weeks ago for our happy hour, a lot of restaurants and theaters. And back over to the left, you'll see some private condos. And pretty soon we'll be coming up on the JW Marriott. Really a beautiful facility. There are some visitors to Marco. And there's a JW Marriott with its eye-catching fountains. Really a pretty facility. We're on the wrong side to really get a good view of it. And this area with all the palm trees is Resident Beach. For the people who live on Marco but they don't live right on the beach, they get access here, and if you look closely, you'll see the chicky huts with those grass roofs. Coming up on the right pretty soon, you're going to see Doreen's Cup of Joe. It's a really popular breakfast place here on Marco Island, and you can see people there waiting in the parking lot. Here are some more people coming from shopping, maybe heading to the beach. We're coming up on the Savage Bridge. Off to the left as we exit the bridge is the Esplanade. It has a marina, a lot of restaurants, and there's even some residential condos there. And that brings us to the end of our journey as we begin to exit Marco Island over the Jolly Bridge. We're crossing over the Marco River, 
that's off to the right of us, and that empties into the Gulf of Mexico to the left. Really a pretty view as you cross over either to Marco or leaving Marco. And right now we're heading in the direction of Naples and the Isles of Capri will be just to the left. Really, really a beautiful area. Thanks for joining me from beautiful Marco Island. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. I'm Mark. This is the Average Me Channel.